What's up guys, back again with the 2003 Dodge Ram 1500 with the 4.7 liter, my truck. Uh, I'm going to show you the location of the crank sensor. It's a common problem when you have a no start situation on your truck, um, especially if um, you have oil leaks or you've gone off-roading, maybe something got up in there, a uh, chunk of debris or mud or whatever. I've had that happen before where a chunk of uh, mud got up there, damaged connector, I had to replace the connector and uh, replace uh, the sensor as well. It's a cheap fix, about 30 bucks, 50 bucks, depending where you go. So let's get to it. So first of all, you're gonna get underneath your truck on the passenger side. You're gonna get underneath the engine on the passenger side. You're gonna look up. If you have a block heater cord, follow that up to where the frost plug is and where it connects into the block. Right across from that, you'll see this sensor sticking out with this harness connected. That is the actual uh, crankshaft sensor right there. Undo the clip, clips on top here, just squeeze it tug out comes off pretty easy try not to pull from the harness you can damage it and then you just got to replace a bunch of stuff that's just not worth it do it the right way grab this pop it off and then uh, undo the 13 millimeter bolt you can get that with a wrench or a, a quarter inch ratchet and then you're gonna grab the sensor here and then you're gonna wiggle it and move it back to a point where you have just enough room where the um, bracket holds on to the body you're going to grab your pry tool you're going to get in there you're not going to pry what you're going to do is twist and what you're going to do in twisting it in that fashion clockwise uh, depending on which way you're looking underneath the truck um, that's going to pull the sensor out and you're going to continue doing that till it comes out don't uh, force this sensor to come out if it does not want to move don't pry it you will break it off in there and it's a pain to uh drill it out and extract that. You're just gonna cause yourself a hell of a lot more grief than you need to. So once you uh, pry it out, you just pop it out of there, pop a new one in there. Make sure not to push any debris inside there. If it's extremely muddy or dirty or oily here, like it is you see here, uh, just try and give it a blast with some brake clean, clean it off. You don't wanna risk any uh, debris getting inside there. Um, and then yeah, just pop the new one in there and uh, it will go in there if you just give it a couple uh, good wiggles push it in pop the bolt on there tighten it nice and snug put the clip back on and you're done make sure that when you put that clip back on there it clicks um i've seen people where they've uh put it on sent the customer's vehicle out and have had issues uh afterwards and yeah yeah just make sure that clicks on there fully uh so it does not come disengaged and uh there you go And there you have it, a quick, simple crankshaft sensor replacement job for a 2003 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 4.7 liter. Extremely easy, you can do it in your driveway, you don't even need special tools. Um, in most cases, you won't even have to lift your vehicle up unless you have a lower truck or anything like that. Um, so that being said, if you're doing the crank sensor, I highly recommend you do the cam sensor as well. It's equally as cheap, equally as easy to do. It's not even that far away from this sensor location. I'll go over that in another video here. Check out this video here. Subscribe down here. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Till next time, cheers.